Hi, my name is Ms. Martinez, and welcome to Classroom Cribs. Behind me is the wall where my students line up every morning. They're able to give me a high five, a fist pump, a hug, or a bow. This gives me a social emotional gauge as to how my students are doing. Inside my class, this is my classroom door. All my students have jobs that helps with responsibility and only having ownership over a classroom. On the bottom is our classroom birthdays. I'm gonna take you through my classroom crib wall by wall. First of all, here's my front wall. As we go through the front, I have my flag. Here I have my folders on top of my um, bookcase with all of my students' uh, California State standards for third, fourth, and fifth grade. Below is all of my teaching books and binders for ELD and progress monitoring. Here I have my color-coded student folders that I take with me to my IEP. Um, here is my Promethean board. We had indoor recess because it was inclement weather today, so we had Paw Patrol. Over here is my calendar. I have my chart about how we're doing. That's based on their goals. So 75% to 100 is a 4, 50% uh, to 75 is a 3, and then anything above 50 or below 50 is a 2. Okay, here is my teacher desk with all my TEs. Uh, over here is my ELA board. This is where I'll be putting the big question. We haven't quite started as a grade level yet, but this is where I have my big question board down here, are the literary works that we are showcasing, that we read together as a class. That is my front wall. Along my next wall is my uh, work, my student work. This also serves as a filing system. So the first one is my ELA board, which we were able to get some student work on there. I do post with a specific feedback based on their goals or based on whether they're achieving their goals or they're reaching standards. I usually add those um, details on there. Next is my, and then there's the board and my sender. This is my math board where they'll be displaying their math work. Um, and then also I have my it labeled and I have my math standard. Next is my ELD board, and that's my ELD sign, that's my ELD standard. And I have all these protective sheets because as I display their work, when I get closer to their IEP, I pull their work out of my uh, protector sheets, I stick them into my student uh, color-coded binders, and I take that with me as evidence into my IEP. Next is my, uh, my art board. And I don't have an art standard yet, but I will be putting that up as soon as we finish our art. Next is my super scholars. And so as my kids are asking questions, being engaged in the curriculum, um, answering questions, being helpful, I have my CSUN stash that I wore at my graduation. I'll let them place that. I have two others that haven't been pulled out yet and a graduation cap and I call them my super scholars. And this is a motivational tool for not just my students to showcase how they're glowing and shining in the curriculum, but to help motivate others to participate and engage in the curriculum. Down here is our in-class cart with all of our Chromebooks. Next is my library area, it's my favorite area. It's also one of our stations for our rotations. Um, it is my star books. This is where I actually showcase all of my literary works that we are gonna be doing throughout the school year. And the first book is Falling Towers, which will end right about, right before 9-11. Uh, we should finish that book. And then I'm gonna put it up on display so that our kids, when they're ready, if they want to, they can go ahead and pull that book that we've already read, feel comfortable with reading the novel. Okay, down here I have all of my ELA, ELP, which is our reading academies and ELD games for our rotation. Over here is all of my books, which are color-coded and labeled on the spine. So when they go into their reading groups, they know exactly which uh, book card to pull. And then we have a sink. <laughs> Next is my back wall. And my back wall is pretty simple. I have my homework um, mailboxes inside of there. It goes our homework folders. Then I have my next rotation station. This is where I have math rotations and my ELD rotations. Back here isn't quite finished, but this is gonna be my calming area. And then I have my science board. This is my last wall. And this is where I have my teacher rotation kidney table, along with our posted schedule. And then we have a living, breathing word wall that my students ask, how do you spell? And if it's a sight word, it goes right onto the word wall and it stays there all all year long and we build upon it as they need support with sight words. Um, that's my classroom crib. Um, here are my student desks. I have everybody facing forward. 
Um, hope you liked it.